Hi guys, uh, speaking to you from Toronto, Canada. Great to see you. How are you today? Doing good. good. How, are you? How are you doing? Oh, I'm good. I'm still uh, shaking like a leaf, to be honest. And I think I slept <laughs> with my lights on last night. So, Rye, I got to start with you because I think this movie is going to go down in horror film history. There is no question in my mind. It is so <laughs> unique. It is so different. But for you, I wanted to know what your initial reaction was because we never get to see the perspective of the killer. This was terrifying. <laughs> um, personally, I'm, I mean, I'm such a, a big horror geek, uh, film geek in general, and I, and I love the slasher genre. Growing up, watching all these characters and, and uh, the big franchises, and then all this, the smaller ones in between, um, I was always a huge uh, fan of that. And I've, and I've played yeah. a few characters in the past that are kind of similar. Um, uh, but nothing from this perspective, nothing that was kind of a flip side where you got to just spend the day with this. It's basically yeah. a day in the life of a slasher killer. So that was a lot of fun. And, and just knowing the team that we were with and and what kind of special effects and practical effects they were bringing to the whole thing. And just like doing all these crazy new kills that people have never seen before. It was it's just been a, it was a pleasure. Yeah. OK, OK, a pleasure. OK, cool. That's, that's an interesting <laughs> way to. <laughs> okay, Andrea, I want to know from your perspective, from an actor's perspective, what was that like for you? Was it different? Because we see you, but it's not your perspective, it's his. So do you have to kind of change your mindset a little bit when you're working? I thought I would, but it actually, it was so unique having the camera so far for me at the start of the film and having to figure out how to create the world for myself, but it actually came easier than you would expect. I think without the presence of the camera so close by, I act, I connected with Chris, my character, a lot a lot quicker, yeah. the, the overall world. Oh, cool. All right. Interesting. So, I, you know, when you're making these kinds of films, like, Rye, especially you, um, wearing this costume, did you have, like, air conditioning inside? Like, tell me a little <laughs> into this and how that helped from your perspective um well uh so chris nash uh designed the the mask and and the the, the headpiece of the helmet and uh and he designed it so there were some versions that were cut out so so the hood would be on but i could actually see fully out this way um and, and then there was some versions where the goggles were in but there wasn't glass there and then other versions where the whole thing was on so when the whole thing was on, it, it fogged up pretty quickly. You couldn't really see so much. So it was a lot to do with timing and pacing out or or uh, taking your steps so you knew exactly how many steps you had to take before hitting a, a mark. And then um, with the other stuff, uh, it was it was a lot easier um, with with the the mask off and the and the face open. But that then that had another problem because with Pierce Dirks, our cinematographer, following closely behind, if I would turn my head too much. You'd see my nose sticking out, so you would, it would kind of, I'd kind of have to steer my shoulders a direction to give him time to know that I was going to turn this way, um, and just yeah, and just stuff like that. There was no air conditioning, but they had ice packs for me. Uh, I was well taken care of. It, it was yeah, it was all right. You're good. We don't want you fainting or anything. <laughs> <laughs> um, Andrea, and I, I just you know, I want to know from you. I, I don't know about you. I'm not a huge horror film fan. I just the intensity as I get older, I don't know, I can't take it, but I got through this one, you know, a lot like this, but it, I made it. But for you, are you a fan? Um, and even if you aren't, what do you think the element is that is needed to make a really good, scary movie? I wasn't a fan before this, and I keep admitting it, and I feel like I'm really going to regret this afterwards. <laughs> no, no, no. But, no. no. <laughs> this being on this film, being on End of Violent Nature really made me appreciate the formula that comes to making a for horror film and honestly the community like at Sundance and and taking this film all over it's just been so incredible to connect with with the community of horror yeah. I think the element about it at least what I love about it is it's something different like it makes you feel actually feel it's it's palpable it makes you scared it makes you anxious icky gross and I feel like that's very yeah. rare to find in film to to be challenged um and to sit in that to confront those feelings yeah and Rai how about you what do you think it is because you know for me sometimes it's the music that element um you know or the relatability the more real the person who's being stalked is that's that's what does it for me how about for you 
Yeah, I, I mean, I think yeah, it's I think it's different with every film and every and and certain ones really work. Sometimes it's it's the sound design. Sometimes it's the the sparseness or the uh, disorientation. Um, for this film, I feel like it's kind of a, a mixture of a bunch of things because it is it, it is a bit of a disorientation for the audience because they haven't gone on this kind of journey exactly before. For sure. Um, and then on top of it, the special effects, the the ex the extreme excess, uh, which which is intentional and and uh, supposed to be funny at parts too. Yeah. Um. So it's yeah. With this one specifically, I feel like the sound design is is a lot to do with the creepiness, and then just the uh, just the mis mystery and the mystique behind Johnny, not really getting spending all this time and not really getting to know him at all. Right. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Well, listen, guys, you did a great job. Um, thanks for getting me through it. I appreciate it. I will probably have the lights on for the rest of the week, but I I'll be okay. So thank you so much for your time today. I really appreciate it. And best of luck with the movie. Thank you so much. Thanks. Thanks, Robert. Okay, guys. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. You too.